So when you're ready to learn to do the one-step color retouch, um, a couple of things to know about doing a color retouch. So first of all, when your guest is coming in, you wanna make sure they come in with clean hair, clean, dry hair. So normally I would ask my guest to wash her hair prior to coming in, or I would give her Redken Detox Shampoo, make sure to get any minerals out, any buildup or anything from the water, especially if you're gonna be covering gray hair and doing a color retouch on resistant gray hair because you want that hair to be totally clean canvas. You don't want anything on it like dirt, oil, sweat, or product to prevent the penetration of the color. So um, when you're ready to get started with your guest and she's sitting in the chair draped, you've had your consultation, you know what your formula is, you put it in the bowl. My suggestion is not to mix it until right before you're ready to apply the color. Because as soon as you mix your developer and your, um, your product, your color, it's gonna start to oxidize. And from that point on, you have 45 minutes that it's gonna work. Now, you don't want it working in the bowl and mixing it in the back room and then setting it down and oxidizing because otherwise it will fully develop. As you can see here, it develops in only a few minutes. It starts to develop. I mix 6RR in here, color fusion, so that we can kind of see the development of it. Um, so normally, again, proper procedure would be put your color in the bowl, bring it out, get your draping, anything else that you need to do, and then mix it right before you apply. So that's just a hot tip. So um, when I'm doing a color retouch, I'm going to be doing it in four quadrants. I'll use my brush and my color to actually separate the quadrants. I don't have to go through and use clips to do that. I also will make sure that I use, um, for me, my preference is the shorter bristle brush because I wanna make sure to get a lot of pressure on the, um, the color area. So when I start my color retouch, especially if she has bangs, um, I'll go through and I'll just create my part line. And let's pretend today that she has an inch of gray regrowth, okay? So what I do is I go through, I load up a pretty liberal amount of color on my brush, and you'll see I just create the part. I'm doing quarter inch partings, and I'll go through and actually swipe from one side of the gray, right, to the other side of the gray, through the valley. And I push pretty hard, which will help the compression so that the dye actually can go into the hair. So again, I take quarter inch parting, load my brush up on one side, and go through the actual section. A lot of times in beauty school, depending on where you were trained, you might have been taught to do hair color in, um, with a technique similar to now this, and I'll show you. Sometimes what I'll see is people will part and then they will pounce, you know, kind of like painting with a pouncer. And what it does is it lengthens the amount of time that it takes to do the color retouch. And also you're wiping the color off the hair. So think about when you're doing a color retouch, let me just make sure you got a good visual here. I just want you to think about when you're doing color retouch, you're actually, you're pressing the color on and you're using a bit of pressure there, right? So you, again, you part, load, and then swipe hard from one side to the other of the grays. So when you get lower on the sides, you can also swipe up if you want, if it's a little easier. But in general, you wanna think about taking that color and laying it on the hair from one side of the gray touch up through the valley to the other side. Quarter inch parting to the other side. And you won't need to um, use your thumbs or your hands or your fingers to actually touch the hair at all because your brush is doing most of the work for you. And you'll part small enough that you'll be able to get all the hair. Now in this area here, hot tip, make sure you're not over swiping, you know, and taking it too far because this little triangle hair that comes down if you're just swiping up like you were the other sections, sometimes it puts too much color on there, too, on too many of the roots. 
so it gets too dark and you don't actually do a, a true touch up. You're like coloring the whole side. So again, just be careful around this area that you're just touching up the regrowth and not just swiping up and ending up with like two inches of color touch up. I then go back and I'll like cut out the edges after I finish my quadrant. So I'll cut out her edges, make sure I've got all the regrowth area. Again, I'm not pressing any of this down onto her scalp. I'm just holding the hair up because if I press it down, you're going to get color on the strands where you don't want them, right? So again, and then I'll, I'll clean up anything around her hairline to make sure she doesn't stain. When I'm finished with the quadrant and I'm happy with the amount of product I've got in there, then I'll pull it down, let it hang where it lives, and then I'll work on the other quadrant. So with the gray hair, we always start in the front. And if you can imagine that that gray resistant hair needs the full 45 minutes, right? And also, a lot of people you'll see don't have a lot of gray hair in the back and they might just be heavily gray up front. So we'll always start in the front first with gray hair. When I'm lightening hair or bleaching hair, then I'll start in the back two quadrants. and I'll do the back left and back right and then I'll do the front when lightening. Usually the front lightens easier and faster because the hair is more fragile and a little bit of a different texture than the hair in the back. Also, you'll find that people have darker hair in the back naturally and their, their natural level is a little lighter in the front sometimes. So again, I'm just going through quarter inch partings in this quadrant, swiping from one side to the other, loading my brush, one side to the other through the valley and I can go back and cross check my work afterwards too. So again, hot tip, things to avoid is coloring the hair from the center part out and from the center part out. You're going through about 12 or 13 swipes that way and it's just not as efficient as doing it with more product and more pressure. So again, not this, right? Instead, Load your brush and go through once. Part, load, press. Part, load, press. This way your touch-ups, you should be able to do them in about 15 minutes for a full head. After I finish this quadrant, again, I'll go back and cut out the edges. So if you feel like you're ready to demonstrate that, then go ahead and um, use a mannequin or a live person um, get some help formulating if you need, and go ahead and um, film yourself doing a color retouch with cream hair color with a bowl and a brush on a guest all over. Good luck.